NAIDOC Week is the perfect time for Australia as a whole to come together. NAIDOC Week isn't just about Perth Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, it's also about sharing our culture with everybody. My name's Blair Toby, I'm a proud Gungaloo man. Um, my role in the centre is a cultural development officer and I'm here at the Capricornia Correctional Centre. Like the difference between a cultural liaison officer and a cultural development officer is that cultural liaison officers liaise with prisoners directly and sort them out with any of their cultural issues with inside the centre. A cultural development officer's main role is to bring culture into the centre. Um, one of the main things that we do is we get prisoners to do cultural dancing and we also get prisoners to do artwork, whether it's murals or canvases. Once uh, the artwork's completed, we get it framed and we get it put up around the centre. That day gives a perfect opportunity for not just staff, but prisoners to discuss the artwork and talk about culture. NAIDOC Week is a week where Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders celebrate their culture. And we celebrate it by sharing that culture with everybody who, who would like to attend it. Connecting to culture, regardless if you're a prisoner or not, is extremely important. You know what I mean? Um, we've seen that the last 65,000 years, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture is one of the longest living and strongest cultures in the world. So I believe just because you're incarcerated does not mean that you should forget that culture. The reason why I applied for this position is because I was getting to an age in my life where I haven't given back anything to my community. And I thought that this position is a great opportunity to do that. Now I realise I'm not just giving back to my community, but I'm also giving back to so many other communities across the East Coast. You know, all the way up to the Cape, out to Dumaji, all the way down to Brisbane. And that, that impact is unbelievable and I'm so, I'm so proud to be a part of that.